As a member of the Armed Forces, what does the university's Celebration of Military Appreciation Day mean to you? Uh, the Celebration of Military Appreciation Day is actually really the university, faculty, student body, and the local community coming together and giving a big appreciation of thanks and support to the military service members in the local community here on the university campus, uh, as well as those veterans that are here. Um, and it's showing their appreciation for their sacrifice and their service. How do you see the uh, university working with the military on a daily basis? Is it a positive relationship? It's a very positive relationship. Uh, I work with different faculty members on the university campus pretty much on a daily basis for one thing or another. Uh, I have had nothing but positive relationships with each and, each and every one of them that I've worked with. And with uh, with uh, great results, so no issues. Talk a little bit about the commitment involved uh, for a student in ROTC. Uh, the students in ROTC are very committed to what they do. Uh, they have a drive for service, um, they have a drive for leadership, and they come here so they can serve their nation in one capacity or another. Um, they're just like any other college student. Uh, they take classes just like any other college student, but they do that additional uh, training and commitment with the ROTC program and at the end of it they're a commissioned officer in the United States Army. They be the National Guard, the Reserve, or the active component. As a university we talk about our legacy of leaders. How does ROTC fit into that? Well the Chrisman Battalion goes back to the roots of this university which was founded in 1889 uh, and began training military officers from the beginning. Uh, the first professor of military science was Edward R. Chrisman in 1894. And there is a hall, Chrisman Hall, in the Wallace Complex that is named after him. So he was the first professor of military science. Uh, he then returned on two other occasions uh, to be the professor of military science where he retired as a general officer. So the history, the lineage of this battalion goes back to the beginning of this university. So there's, there's, a, there's pretty good history there. As part of the November 6 pregame festivities, members of Army ROTC will be rappelling from the Kibbe Dome roof. Do they do this voluntarily, and will you be joining them? Uh, yes, they do this voluntarily. Uh, for, for the cadets, they rappel twice a year, once in the fall and once in the spring. Uh, so they have some experience rappelling. It's nothing new to them. And they will be handpicked by the professor of military science. And so they do have some experience rappelling. Uh, they just won't have the experience of rappelling in front of 10 or 15,000 people, uh, so they will be doing some rehearsals to prepare them for that. Uh, unfortunately, no, I will not be joining them. Um, I will actually be outside making sure pieces are in place and continuing the coordination along with university faculty to ensure that this event goes off well and we give a great presentation to the local community as well as the student body.